Happy New Year! We're about halfway finished with our camper project and we thought we'd give you a summary of what we've done so far. We've got most of the windows rebuilt with all new seals. We got some new hatch covers. This is where we'll plug in the electric and fill the water tank. These are clearly much more durable than the original ones that were on here. We've replaced all the running lights and the wiring that goes with them. We took all this corner molding off and recocked and resealed and stuck it back on. This big new hatch is where we'll store things like lawn chairs and it'll go through under the bed so we'll have a lot more storage space. This hundred year old canoe is one of our next projects. Over here was where the furnace vent was. We've blocked it off because we don't intend to use a furnace in here. Down here is the siding patch. We matched as closely as we possibly could. The previous owner had just slapped on a piece of aluminum and it looked really bad. Apparently my daughter thinks I need protection, so she got me this new keychain. Let's look at the inside. As you can see, we replaced all the fiberglass insulation with foam and we made it airtight in here. Mark redid all the wiring. Hey Mark, why don't you come in and give us a run through of what you did? Okay, so what we did here, uh, we brought, we're bringing 110 volt in and 12 volt in. Uh, it's, everything is really super simple, nothing complicated, uh, fewer things to go wrong, fewer things to start the thing on fire. Uh, so 110 comes in here, goes to this breaker box, and then uh, up here we have a 110 outlet that will be above the countertop. Um, over here we're going to have a switch for the 110 that will power an outlet down here. And this is where we're going to plug in a space heater. Uh, here in the Midwest we call them milk house heaters. It's just a small, very, very safe electric heater. We'll be using that to uh, heat the place. Uh, the 12 volt will, comes in right through here by the frame. It's got a breaker in here also. And uh, it comes up. There will be a gauge, a battery level gauge right here. Um, I'm not sure what this, oh this is going to power our water pump which will be down here by the tank. Uh, up here we have wiring that will go to a recessed uh, LED light above the cabinet. Uh, over here we have a light that's going to go above the bed. Uh, over here we have another 110 outlet. This is for our TV antenna. We'll have an external TV antenna. And this is for another one of those dome lights over the uh, counter over here and we also have same kind of light wired in over here. Uh, on, oh and another thing we did before we put the installation up here is after five decades of snow being piled on top of this roof it has it created a sag in it so what we did was we jacked it up a little bit and then we took pieces of aluminum and we screwed them in to the sides of each one of these rafters and that's gonna hold the ceiling up for another 50 years. So over here we'll have our bed. Our bed will come out to about here. There'll be cabinets up above. There'll be a sink here. We will have our stove top here. We had an old oven in here but we decided not to put it back in. It just isn't right for us. Um, here's our stove vent. Over here we'll have a small bench that'll fold out into a bed. There'll be a table here. Um, over here we will have our nice TV that we can watch either from the table or from the bed. We'll have a countertop here for extra kitchen space. And that's it. So you can see we still have quite a ways to go on this project, but we're very excited about the progress that we've made so far. Keep watching for updates.